Hello everyone, my name is Slothfing and today we are playing Minecraft! Uh, technically it is not 9-26-2022, but it's technically Tuesday. Uh, we had internet issues yesterday. Excuse me, and I had PC stuff I had to deal with. So we pushed the stream back. I know it's the first Monday we didn't stream, but we still stream this week. I need to go turn on the light! Hold on. All right, so today we are going to, oh, hold on. Sleep, sleeping, nope. I didn't realize I could see the cows from here, that's cool. <sighs> it's raining. Um, I got rid of, I had just hopped on before while I was waiting to stream. We're, we're technically streaming a little bit early today, but I hate YOLO. Quite a few things. Um, I dumped a bunch of like stuff, like cobblestone and whatnot, and, and, and wheat. Um, and then I took 22 wheat and I fed the cows uh, as soon as I got on, just so I could get that out of the way. Um, so that way when we come back, we can get another run. Um, yeah, we're going to go chop some trees, and then we're going to head north, and we're going to explore. Because on 8-8, almost a month after we first started... Um, we did an exploration to the east, and then we headed south, which is that way. We explored almost a month later, so that's pretty cool that we have uh, practically about a month, month later. Um, granted, we're going to miss these the five and the eight, so that's why we're doing the exploration number three now. Mm, actually, let's keep three signs on us. Um, but I want to do is I want to take those chests that are in this house and move them to over here. But that requires us um, getting more uh, chests, which requires more wood, logs, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. So we're coming over to the farm, and we're going to mine, mine, mine. Oh, harvest. I guess you're, you're mining in a sense, but yeah. Um, and then we have a bunch of food here. That bamboo just grows like bamboo. We have a hoe here. Actually, before I forget, I'm going to... Okay, so not all those were technically ready, so three. And then. Also, today is the official update, Apocalypse update for Phasmophobia, which is exciting. I love playing that game. It's an inspirational um, for my own development, as well as just in general, it's a fun game. 34. So I think we can pretty much fill up all this. I eventually want to replace that sand with a actual uh, like dirt block or cobblestone or something. That way I don't actually go oops and then have to jump on it. <clears throat> Recently, uh, so yeah, yesterday, so uh, da, 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 da. first and foremost, uh, let me know what you have going on for the week. When you watch this, comment below what your week plans are. I would love to hear what you've got planned. If you got a just an appointment to see the doctor or dentist, so be it. Or if, like, say you're going on a, a, a on a trip, to, you know, Saturday, you know, like, say you're flying out to Florida to go to Walt Disney World. More on that later. Um, oh, chest is over here, and then we can tree shop. <clears throat> but I'd love to hear from you, both on YouTube and in the Twitch comments. And oh, you, oh you, no, oh, wow, I I butchered that. Oh, you, how's it going? Disney World next week, Haipu? Oh, yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. <sighs> so while we chop trees, uh, yeah, so we're going from the 1st through the 8th to Disney World. You'll have so much fun. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. My fiance, it's her first time going, so I'm excited to take her and have her enjoy it all, and uh, it's going to be fun. Um, so we land on the 1st. We actually changed our flight a, like a month or so ago <clears throat> to get there like at like noon their time, 11 our time, technically. We'll get there about 11-ish. And, uh, so yeah, so we're excited. Um, we're going to drop our stuff at the hotel. They'll hold it until our room's ready at three. Uh, but we're going to go to the boardwalk, the Disney, uh, boardwalk and kind of experience some stuff, get some Gideons, all yum, yum. And, uh, yeah, I love peanut butter. So they have like a peanut butter, like cookie and a peanut butter coffee drink. And I'm like, so down, uh, so down to, to go there and have fun. And then what else? What else? Um, and then, uh, it goes Animal Kingdom. 
Hold on, let me just pull up the can calendar. I think if I'm if anyone's going to be there, I'd love to see you there. Um, so we arrive in just a boardwalk day, uh, slash hotel. Then it's Animal Kingdom, Epcot. We have a VIP tour for Universal Studios Orlando. Then our own personal day with Express Pass. Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, and then we leave. Um, like an uh, it's like an afternoon flight, but we you know obviously we'll leave at eleven to go to the airport to get there ahead of time. Get there you know at least two hours ahead of time. So yeah, um, so we are beyond excited. So so excited. Do oh yeah, Dolip yeah. Oh yeah, Dole Whip. We actually have Dole Whip here at the uh, the St. Louis Zoo. Um, actually has Dole Whip. Um, but I know that Dole Whip and Pog Juice is most known to be at Disney World, and that's the easiest place you can really get it. I know not all states are blessed like the where I live to have like Dole Whip and all that. Um, and I'm so excited to try all like the Bever the Beverly drink drinks and whatnot, just to see which ones we actually like and don't like. Um, but yeah um, how are you doing today I, I hope you're doing well I'm doing great it is I was gonna say it's Monday but it's actually Tuesday I'd actually drive my fiance because my car the windshields cracked so I don't want to drive that and get pulled over or ticketed when we're gonna repair that after the trip but uh so I'm like so I had to drive her to work it was like a mm, 12 15 minute drive no big deal through town and uh yeah so it feels like a Monday, but I know it's not a Monday. It's, it feels like a Monday because we're playing Minecraft, even though it's technically Tuesday, but eh, YOLO. Uh, obviously, we'll be around here long enough that the saplings should drop, and then we'll be able to get that. There's actually a Vanilla Tweaks um, where the trees will fast drop... Found the source. Oh, wow. It mixed at home and just... Hey, you got to mix them. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, Dole Whip is pretty good. Um, there's a Vanilla Tweaks where it does a faster decay for the trees. Um, but it's pretty much like on impact almost. And it is just so loud. So that's why... That's one of those things where if I ever do get a modification, I wouldn't do that. Because you have to turn down a sound. And it's the block breaking block. And it's just too loud for me. But yeah, imagine this louder. Ew. Gotta protect our ears. Uh, but yeah, so I'm so excited for Walt Disney World. And there's also the Phasmophobia update today. I probably will play that on stream too. Um, obviously, YouTube, you won't see that till... Well, I don't know if I'll actually upload that. I might just, you know, stream that and that's it. But who knows. Um... Uh, let's see. Um, but yeah, Phasmophobia is a huge update. Well, your weekend plans consist of making pad thai noodles. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yum, yum. That actually sounds really delicious. And I'm hungry. I had a piece of bread. I was like, you know what? I'm going to stream an extra half hour, you know, stream early. Why? Well, it's either that or make a sandwich. And I don't feel like making the sandwich. Even though I just get up, I have the mini fridge, the ingredients, the mini fridge, and the bread behind me. So I just ate a piece of bread. I don't know if that's the ADHD in me or... Oh, playing lots of Splatoon 3 and Animal Crossing. Oh, I still need to play uh, Splatoon 3. I still need to play that. I, I've i never played the new Animal Crossing. I pretty much watched the world play it. And I'm like, good for the world. Good for the world. Um, I've never like beat like... Uh, new Leaf, I think is what I have on GameCube. I played it like a few days and then that was it. I really need to look into uh, a soft bread emote. Maybe not necessarily a sloth, but a <gasps> do I have carrots? Hold on, pigs! I will be right back. Oh, oh we got we got we, we got carrots. We gotta get carrots. It's actually it's called butter bread. And look, it's got more of like a buttered flavoring, which I love buttered toast. Um, I also speaking of buttered toast, Ed and Eddie loved watching Ed and Eddie. So, <gasps> butter toast. Wait, butter toast. <coughs> I can't do it. Wow. Oh, chickens, Eddie, chickens. Oh. GameCube doesn't have new leaf. Well, whatever. Hold on. Uh. 
Oh. Oh, it's just called Animal Crossing. Okay, I, I, for some reason I thought that was New Leaf. I don't know why. Huh. In case anyone was wondering, the uh, GameCube games I have are uh, Animal Crossing, uh, Burnout, SpongeBob SquarePants movie, Star Wars Rebel Strike, Mario Party and uh, 7, and WarioWare Inc. Mega Party games. Uh, keep in mind, the Mario Party 7 does not work, and it, pardon the language, but it really pisses me off. Because Mario Party 7 is so much fun, and I love the shenanigans of the, um, the mic. The mic minigames are so much fun. Oh, we gotta get carrots before I forget. Crap. Crap! Oh, you scared the shit out of me, my dude. Fucking jump scare number two. <coughs> wow. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? But yeah, that's my GameCube collection. I'm surprised I don't have more, to be honest, you know? Uh, it's gonna be nighttime. Crap to walk them back. We might have to put them in a hole and remember them for later. Mario Party 5 on GameCube? Nice. Yeah, I like, I really enjoy the Mario Party games on GameCube. They're, they're classic. 5, 6, and 7 are great. <clears throat> Um, I really feel like Mario Party and Resident Evil all do a certain thing where, uh, where the, it's like every, every three games is a different kind of rendition. Like, I don't get me wrong, like one, two, and three each did their own thing, but they were similar. Uh, same thing with, uh, five, six, seven, I guess four technically is, uh, is, is four, not three. Where did I find the pigs at? Spider! <laughs> Um, but yeah, like I originally, that's not my, is that my original GameCube? I, th I, I don't remember. I thought I had an orange one, like orange sherbet or something. And I think I might've sold it back in the day. So, cause I wanted to get, um, and I saw also some Xbox. So for, for air, air, oh no, pig, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, pig. Forgive me. Uh, for, for train tickets to see someone. And it was the stupidest thing ever. Never sell your games. It just, it's not worth it. I just, uh, but anyways, I still have like Rebel Strike and whatnot. Um, this was a bad idea. We're just going to pig, follow me, piggies, follow me. You're going to go in the, hurry, hurry, hurry up. Ah, I got another carrot. It's cool. I promise I'll make you a nice pin. I promise. Just, just later. Just getting up. Oh, whew. I gotta hurry up so a creeper doesn't get me. All right. See you later, pigs. Ooh, you. Hey, hey, hey. Psst. Pig. Psst. Come here. Psst. Come here. Come on. Let's. Yeah, 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 yeah. You. Hey, yeah. Psst. You too. You too. You too too. Cause there's two of you. You too. Also, come here. Um, I'm trying to think what I did last, this this past week. I really didn't do much. I worked on a bunch of Blender stuff. I could probably show that off at some point, but uh, um, I was working on um, modeling stuff. I won't say what, though, but it is... Pr okay, there we go. Anyway, back this way. Not a single cactus on that beach. They were trapped in a hole now. How brutal. Yeah, I, I'll make them a nice pen. Don't worry. I just don't want them to like get lost or get me killed or get them killed. You know, we already killed that one pig. Rip. Pig. Then it'll become a pen. Pig pen. Yeah. Totally. Uh, but pretty much when I was like mm, 13 to 15 is when I got my uh, GameCube from my mom my mom and at the time my stepdad um they got me for my it was really my mom but he he also had like oh we definitely get him a, you know he likes video games let's give him a console you know i think that'd be really cool um and my mom's always known my love for video games that's what she's part, one of the main reasons why but um yeah so playing through 
I let's see. I got Rebel Strike, Star Wars. I got I think the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, and I think maybe even Burnout. I don't remember. No, I think I bought that re more or like uh, 2017, 2018 probably. Um, but oh, snipers, run! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! No! Strafe, zigzag. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I the, the GameCube is so much fun. It was it, it's an underrated, underperforming console. I'll tell you that. Nintendo has the Batman syndrome, which is every other. It goes. It, it alternates between poor, great, poor, great, and uh, yeah, not always, but for the most part. I don't know why I put the... Why is there a bed in there? Um, Put the bed over here, I guess. So anyway, um, like, I mean, NES, Super Nintendo were both great. Um, N64 is great. But then GameCube didn't perform well. Wii performed well. Wii U performed poorly. Switch performed w well. And it's like, dang, that's crazy. <sighs> but I definitely want to get more GameCube games. It's just it, we're in a period where those are so. Exp I want to make a chest. Chest. There we go. All right. <clears throat> um. So yeah. Uh. What, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Oh uh, yeah, GameCubes. Just in general, GameCubes are definitely like so expensive. And it's such a shame because I love a lot of the GameCube games. Uh, yeah, we'll keep them all the same spot. Oh. Hold on. Are those... Oh, okay. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, we were talking uh, the other day and uh, a few streams ago on Van's streams. Uh, Arthur and I... Uh, Arthur Shamrock, who you should check out. Great streamer. And Van as well uh, as Vanderthal. Um, we were talking about GameCube games, and Arthur has a couple that are like a couple hundred, and it's just because like, well, they were either a Japanese import or they just, you know, weren't there were not a lot of copies made, and it's just, it's one thing if a game's rare, and that's the price expensiveness, like sure, but like, oh, well, just because you know, I uh, people, you know, the whole grading crap, I like hate that because, and I hate to say hate, but. Like Wata, it literally flo um, floods the market and like scams it out. Um, this is all gonna be cobblestone. This gonna be dirt. This is gonna be gravel. So we're gonna put some dirt here. Um, we're gonna have like andesite, diorite, and granite here. We're gonna have like some sand, sandstone, and, uh, gravel here, and then stuff like that. And then we'll have the second floor. We'll also have chests there too. <clears throat> but you know, we'll get to that in a moment. Um, I guess actually this other side probably could be like the tree types you know we could have like um the woods the logs and stuff like that i mean i would if i still had them and didn't uh use it all up for chess simpsons hit and run is a great game um reubes that's spelled is making the uh, yeah kid friendly GTA yeah oh so much fun. We got to the very end of the game, my sister and I, and I think my mom and dad jumped in a couple times to try and help. Uh, but it was pretty much me and my sister trying to. We could not beat the end of the game. I got to it was the same three. You had to go to the nuclear reactor all the way down and around to the uh, uh, graveyard or whatever to the spaceship or no, it was to the school, the back of the school, and. You had to do that three times. You had to get there and back. And one of the most clunky maneuvering cars ever. And it was tough. So tough. We played this on PS2 when we rented it. Uh, and yeah, the, you had to do that three times. And it was so difficult. It went from a... I, I challenge a game to a Dark Souls Jr. I'm like, what? And yeah, we never beat it. 
Um, hold on. When's when's Halloween? Hold on. Oh, but you did eventually beat it. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Because yeah, that's whew. Halloween. Oh, it'll be a Monday. Okay. So I have an idea for what to do that day um, for Halloween. Um, that might be one of the games we play. Also worth noting, um, October is Slothtober. And for Sloth Awareness, not me, Sloth, but like actual Sloth, um, there's a Sloth Conservation Group we're working with where on the 20th is their actual big day. And the 21st is also a, a day I'm going to do a 12-hour a, a stream um, for um, the Sloths and all that. And so, yeah, it's going to be really exciting. They'll be in chat on the 20th talking about facts and all that. But we're going to kind of go. There's three games, three things we're going to do on the 11 hour um, that are the big focus. And so many things where I just want to, you know, make sure awareness. Because they're they're not. Uh, they should be taken care of, you know. They're just animals. Do Why did that? Oh, because that was capped at. Okay. Go around town blowing everyone's cars up and with the police chasing you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that was such a fun game. Uh, but yeah, so we'll have a 12 hour stream on the 21st. Hold on. Yeah. Because I pretty much have something I'm like, so I'm in a trip from the 1st to the 8th. Uh, we have stuff going on this week, stream for return, and then this stream is going to be big. The 15th is the only Saturday I don't have anything planned. My cousins get married on the 22nd, and then I'm going out of town from the 29th, and the, from the 28th to the 30th. Um, with, uh, I got to see what time we're leaving on the 28th. I'll still stream, of course. But the 20th to the 30th, because my mom's birthday is the, uh, the, the 29th, so then we'll uh, be going out of town to celebrate with her. So. Uh, cobblestone. I need all the cobblestone. That's what I was here for. I was like, what was I here for? I was here for something. It was something important. You're so organized scheduling. It's so inspiring. Yeah, it started with me just streaming on... I just picked it. And that, that's a, so that's the big thing. Like, everything starts with motivation. Oh, I'm motivated to do this. But to keep doing it is self-discipline and i thought okay what if i only played minecraft on mondays okay sure and then hey i could stream that too to make it just as rewarding sure that's i missed the uh place with the chest whoops that's just as rewarding i also need to get the pigs up so i figured why not why not you know go ahead and and and, and be organized and 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 all that because it makes things easier um i say is that my the bed isn't made after stream i'll make the bed don't worry don't worry, Chips Ahoy. By the time you get home, the bed will be made today. I swear. So that was cop, rock, dirt, s oh, sand. Okay. I probably said something else, but oh well. I need to get item. F Ooh, we can do item frames. Yes, that'd be so cool. We just do the middle roll so we don't do all the chests because if they're all the same thing, otherwise it'll lag out. Lag out! Where... I need to get more wood. Not that one. Oh, we'll use that. Um, and then I decided why, because actually originally it was Fridays. I was doing streams on Fridays, because streams on Fridays are, are fine. Uh, and then Mondays I thought, well, I could do Minecraft. So it's Monday and Friday. And then I thought, well, if I'm playing GTA, I want to play more of GTA so I can do Wednesday and Friday. And that's three days of stream. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday perfect um wednesday and friday can be whatever the game is so in this case i'm playing through all the gta so i'm doing that friday and wednesday, wednesday and friday and monday's minecraft weekly minecraft occasionally i'll do a saturday stream but that isn't likely just because you know we I, i've got stuff to do and whatnot and busy 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 we don't want to use all of these actually there we go um so yeah and i figured with that it's a it's a great schedule to keep I have missed a couple Fridays just because of various reasons, and I had to delay Monday's stream this week to Tuesday. But yellow. Um, <laughs> and it's been kind of rewarding to do that. Um, I have set time for. I'm trying to think what it was I did. Um, oh, actually, I need a a, a sand. There you go. 
Um, and it's just great to, by doing that, doing something and then like, okay, I've got to do it. Why? Well, one, it's because it's rewarding. And two, that's the only time I can do it. Um, so I also, whenever I'm doing game development, I, I find the most energetic, I was going to say eclectic, but I meant electric, um, electric and energetic. And that is listening to ACDC's live wire. For whatever reason, that song amps me up, and I'm just like, yeah, it's it's a, it's a great song. You should listen to it, um, and it's a ph phenomenal singer, um, the late singer of ACDC, Rip. Um, but yeah, it's just it's so great. Uh, let's see, we got that. That do we have? So we have gravel. We can take gravel. We can take boom, boom, boom. Make sure I'm not missing. Anything and that's worked out really well, especially with my ADHD. I I, I can manage well with it, but th there are some days where it's like there's a couple days in the year that it's just it's so like I really don't feel like doing anything, and I'm like I know I have to do something, and I'm just uh, but I'm not zoned in, I'm zoned out, and I'm just like all right, I'm doing it, I'm checked out, and it sucks because it, I feel so embarrassed because I know I'm better than that. But and you know I'll still do stuff, but it's not as you know great work. Like I could like seven days a week do nothing except for two days, and that and that's the, those are the days that like I hyper focus or whatever, and I do so well. Didn't I say I was doing granite and uh, yeah andesite granite? Hold on, uh, diorite, granite, gravel. Oh, there's andesite. A D G. Yep. Okay. Um, but I just realized that I can't, you know, I can't yell at myself. Like, like I, I, I take the time to at least get something done on a day, and then boom. I a lot of it is I start the day with, um, put gravel down here. I guess. What was I gonna put down here with gravel? I said it and I forgot it. Oh well. I guess sandstone maybe. Oh. Um. I start. I'll start today with something small. Like, um, I've done a lot of research into, like, depression and all that just so I can be more aware for people who have depression. You know, I, what's what's the real way to really respond and um, the best way and, you know, to, to help them, um, you know. And I found that being someone who's depressed, the big thing is, well, not me. I'm, I've, I'm not depressed. I've had moments where I was sad or out of it, but I'm not. Anyway, um... But, like, the big thing is, like, if you're depressed and you don't get out of bed, if you at least get out of bed and you make it to the couch, that's at least one step. That's a great step. Or if it's like, hey, you brushed your teeth, but you got back to bed. Like, oh, hey, you know what? You made it, you made it to, uh, you brush your teeth. That's very good, you know? Because hygiene is important, but there are days where I'm like, I don't want to shower, even though I know as soon as I shower, I'm going to feel amazing great and be like, yes. But... You know, the, the human mind's interesting. You know, I don't think we'll ever truly figure it out, but we'll at least get a gist idea to it. Um, I guess we could do a glass. And do we have saplings? We have one, two, we already got, we already got that. Oh, I guess we'll just take all the saplings out. Okay. Um, yeah, just take it a day at a time, you know? A step at a time too. It's like how how do you you know eat a meal? You well, you eat a meal a bite at a time. You don't you know down the you're like if you're eating a steak say or say you're eating a sandwich. You don't eat the whole thing in one bite. You, you well, I'm it depends on how hungry you are I guess. Um, but you do it one at a time, bite at a time, and then you and then boom you're there. Ta da! We ate the sandwich. And it's the same thing for anything, really. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, I could never do. And that, that was my that was my mindset when I was really young was, oh wow, look at all these artists. Oh, I could never do that because I don't I don't know how to do that. When really, no one knows how to do anything. That's how we're born, and that's why like a lot of people like rag on kids, like oh, kids are so stupid and blah blah blah. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, wouldn't you be if you didn't know anything? And that's where we develop and flourish and become so much better than what we were. And you know, I, I think that's something a lot of people take tend to take for granted is that we need more chess um and that's why it's like every day i want to learn something new whether it's something i've i've you know like in blender learning blender or taking the time to learn something else and ah oh, crap 
or learning about it historically. And I always want it to be something that's applied, like I'm using it in an application formation so that I'm not just like, oh, okay, cool, I learned about, you know, this. But, like, you know, I read about, okay, you know, the... In World War II, I look at, like, okay, I can learn about this thing that happened. Okay, cool. And I can understand, you know, why this happened and occurred. And, like, okay, well, so-and-so did this, and it was because of that. And so this is why countries do this instead of that, and so on and so forth. You know, that kind of thing. And I'm like, oh. But, yeah, that's just me. Other times, it's, like, at the same time, like, like when I read about video games, I want to know more about them. Like, The development of um, Fallout 4, for example. You know, I'm like, I really love the Fallout series. I want to learn more about this game. You know, let's let's find out about it and get, you know, get more into it. Um, these shouldn't be in this chest. I think I dumped them in one day and said, oh, I'll come back to it. I'm like, thanks, pa thanks past me. <laughs> uh, mob drop, mob drop. Uh, Technolets floral, not saplings. We'll just move that there. Uh, mob drop, mob drop. Any other mob drops that isn't food? No. Okay, we'll come over to here. Food, beetroots. Oh, we'll put flowers there too while we're at it. Um, saplings there. Okay, so we just have saplings. Okay, cool. Um, do we have a bunch of logs I can use? We'll just use that. We'll sleep while we're here so we can make sure the phantom thing got reset. So one thing that bothered me in Minecraft out of all decisions, like it's one thing to add hunger. Makes sense. It, you uh, you re reinvented because before when you cooked food, it was like that. You, food didn't stack and that was huge. Um, and then it was like, well, we're also going to add a hunger bar. And I'm like, okay, you could argue that that was also another big change. But then they added the phantoms, which, oh, for sleep and blah, blah. But you can turn it off. And I'm like, such a pain in the butt. But, hey, it's part of Minecraft. Yellow. <clears throat> Make sure I'm not missing any saplings. Take least some tools in here and some flowers that we need to split and that bamboos. But after a while, I'm going to start stop harvesting bamboo because that bamboo's a lot. I'll tell you that. Um. Oh, here we go. Chest. Boom. I mean, that was wood. Four chests, I guess. But yeah, boom, boom. There. I mean, there's just so many... So many projects I have going on, but I take the time to kind of visit each and every one, more or less. Um, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, if you're working on something, you gotta realize you gotta break it down. And then go from there, you know? Like, would I love to have, you know, a few thousand um, people, you know, in chat? Sure. Viewing, but at the end of the day, it's that one person, you know, Oju coming in, you know, and, and chatting or Vot, you know, those those OG Oju um, people being part of the the fun and excitement, you know, before it was cool. I, you know, just in general, you know, and I, I appreciate them for that because that's those are the core people you want to have in your group, no matter how big or small you are. And I'm very fortunate for that. That I crap, no, I didn't. This is weird. The block kind of just ant. Eh. Um, like originally, I, ha I had a sub timber goal, and I just was like, you know, it's silly. I mean, yeah, I have it still, but I'm like, eh. Why pressure people to buy into something? They'll they'll, they'll buy into it as they want. Like I'll say, okay, for this I'll do this, and we've got sub goals and whatnot. But I just at the end of the day. Oh, wait, no, that goes down here. That goes here. Um, so the oak here. Birch and was that acacia? Yeah, okay. And then so we'll do jungle and dark oak. So both of those, we need to visit biomes later and do a tree raid there. 
um, just to get things taken care of. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this floor. That and the for, for the wood. So let me go out and we can't go that way. We gotta go out this way, I forgot. I need to create a side door just in case there's like a creeper or something out here and I don't want to fight it. I just want to like, look, I can go out the side door and come back later and then boom, it's gone. That kind of thing. Um, yeah, today we're just tree chopping, hanging out. Again, hope everyone's having a great week and going to have a great weekend and a great next week and so on and so forth and what, what have you. We also have to explore here in a little bit after we cut down some more trees. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's one of those things where, and, and you can, and I could say a lot and like, oh, I'm going to do this and that and this and that and all this stuff. Great. And like, at the end of the day, it's like, but what did you actually get accomplished? Oh, I just thought about it. And it's just like, eh, you know, sometimes just take it small and say, Hey, I'm going to go do this. And then boom, you do it. And like, cool. But now I'm waiting for it to get jump scared. You just boom, jump scare in. Oh, that's cool. That's a deep cave. Also, we're on 1.19.2. I did update. I just felt that it was a good time. Good, a good, uh, come back, pig. Yum. Was this time I had pork? I, it's been a few days. It's been like a week or two. No, I had bacon the other day. What am I talking about? <laughs> um,. Oh, I got a notification on my phone. I'm going to look. Well, I, uh, someone sent a TikTok. Cool, cool. Also, another thing I noticed was that as much as I need to, like, send stuff, biome change, right? Um, social media is, is kind of huge. Like, I used to have Reddit, Twitter, all, all those apps on my phone, and then I found that I was just doom scrolling all the time, TikTok especially, in and, and I would try and I know I've mentioned this before, but I was like, alright, I'm gonna hold myself to three TikToks on my not for you page, but my following. So I'm actually watching stuff I like and that or recommended. And cause before I'd find myself just, oh wait, it's our, already time to go do this or that. And then or I waste the day just scrolling through it. I'm like, don't get me wrong, I like watching stuff. I love watching stuff, reading stuff, listening stuff. But it it, it just seemed like it was more of just streaming like someone uh, there are people who have argued that they like streaming music in general has kind of ruined music in a way that it's just it's it's taken away the value of it and the and like i agree and disagree with this but my point of view is you can easily just do a stream and just put hey here's a playlist but you can easily miss out on a a song could be good or bad on its own depending on whether it's meant to be its own song. And I'm not meaning single. I mean, like, you create an album and you have a mindset and you have this. But there are some songs that are meant to be packaged together. You listen to a whole album, um, and the whole album ties itself pretty well. But if you... Is that a village? <sighs> Hold up. Is that a village? Hey, yo. Hey, yo. It's a village. Bow, 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 bow. We've been here. Hey, neighbors. I didn't know you were so close to me. All your bridges. Hold on. And that's kind of the, just the big thing. Why, why I always, when I listen, I'll listen to an album twice. And then if I, and then afterwards, I'll listen to the songs individually, typically twice. Um, but hopefully in, in the right mindset afterwards, like I'll listen to like the, the new Megadeth album came out and I listened through to that. I listened to the, the, there's a gnat in here that bothers me. But I listened to those songs um, that they released the singles, and I'm like, I was hooked. I'm like, oh, this could be a great album. I listened to the whole album. There's a couple songs that I don't necessarily like as much as the others. They're not as strong as the rest, but you know, exactly. I still enjoy it. You know, I still appreciate it all. Hey, nitwit. All right, I'm going to take down this tree just because it's in the way of you getting inside easier. Because you got to hop up, and I don't think that that's accessible. All right, cool. We got this. We got a, a second village. Howdy. A bunch of bread for nice, nice. Ooh, and you got pigoos. Nice. But, you know, and so that's kind of something to kind of keep in mind album wise. Um, but yeah. Um, 
so that's why I'm like, I can see why streaming, you're trying to put on music, like, the, there was one article I read where the person was like, yeah, I went to go put on music and just nothing seemed to fit. And it's like, versus if you put on an album, you know, you put on, or you put on an artist, you're like, hey, I want to listen to the work of Jimi Hendrix, Metallica, um, Taylor Swift, Adele, uh, Lady Gaga. You know, you at least have all those interesting, you know, interactions of, okay, here's this album, here's that album. Um, for example, Metallica. Okay, I could easily, if someone's like, I'm going to listen to Metallica, what album do you recommend? And I'm thinking, okay, so we have, and that's kind of a tough decision. You know, you're trying to figure out an artist and trying to, you know, like, it's one thing if it's based on, hey, here's my taste. But if someone's just like, I'm going to listen to Metallica, what do you recommend? And I'm like, it's easy to just go and say Master of Puppets. You know, especially in the mindset of I want them to know what Metallica is all about, but I don't want to scare them off with like Kill 'Em All, where it's like even heavier and earlier. I wouldn't say heavier, but it was heavy in its own sense. Like they're all like each album took its own direct, uh, artistic directional input and perspective and went through and uh, made their own message. You know, um, did I miss this app? No. Okay, this is a pretty cool place too. That'd be cool to uh, make like a little mall area here. Ooh, and there's a water feature over here. What? Oh, we've been over here. Oh, that's cool. Um. So, like, if someone did say, you know, like, hey, I want to listen to my taco, what album would you recommend I, I listen to or a song? Um, it, I'd easily say, like, song-wise, it's either Inner Sandman or Master of Puppets. Um, and then from there, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, what part did you like the most? Or just in general, it's like, what's another song? Then I could go, uh, uh, Orion, The Thing That Should Not Be. Um, oh, there's just so many. Hardwired to self-destruct, man, unkind, all sorts of different stuff. Like I and I've listened to all of their albums from front to back. Um, when you get to like the load, reload, Saint Anger era, I kind of forget some of the songs are are Metallica songs. Um, but you know, it's it's still part of them. You know, I may not listen to them as much, but they're still you know either underrated or overrated. At the end of the day, I, I still listen to them, and enjoy it. Um, what else? <clears throat> but yeah, um, but yeah, Metallica, very fun, very exciting. Where did I put that pig pen? Is that over here? I don't have okay I will sleep and we'll come back and we'll bring them back and then once we've brought them back pinned them up we can uh we can go on a northward adventure <clears throat> but yeah and so it's it's always like someone's like especially if like you don't like an artist specifically like like say you like oh I love this Lil Nas X song but I didn't like the rest of the album, for example. Then you could not that I'm saying I've I've listened to a few of his songs, but I, I haven't. I have listened to a few album his his album, um, front to back repeatedly. Anyway, um, say you're like I like track three, but I don't like the rest of the album. Well, what you could do is you could see what the who the producer was on that, and usually the producers help produce other albums, and you can kind of you're more likely interested in the pr productions. Um, ow, 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 ow. Oh no! Oh no! And yeah, um, like Nirvana. Uh, I'm try. I can picture him. He's got like a mustache. He's got glasses. He's got like grayish hair. He's one of my favorite producers for Nirvana. He was actually, I think, a mixing track. But he's the one who was um, helped record something in the way as it was you know that soft spoken acoustic and just really really loved it like they were talking about how Kurt <coughs> zombies are allowed out there I, and I really love it is because they talk about how Kurt Cobain had this track they were playing <coughs> which you know something in the way and he had this guitar and it was it was purposely out of, set to out of tune had never been really tuned if I think at all and <clears throat> he was just playing this tune and the guy was like hey we need to 
he could barely hear hear him and like like you could barely like Kurt was like something's in the way and you can hear that on on the rec- the record you can hear that in recording of like how faint he is and it's and it's different than something's in the way there's a different tone to something's in the way and I can't be to you can you can really tell the difference and because of that it's it's greatly affected the song um tremendously for, for, for the better of the song I should say and I, I love the song about that but he talked about how he had Kurt come in and play it again and he got a sp- and he got like a microphone right up to uh, right up to Kurt, and he's like play that. And as soon as he's playing, he's like wait stop stop because Kurt had came in and was like playing this on the on 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 this couch. He's just something's in the way, and I can't be gone to hate. And so what he uh, what the what the the rec- the produ- uh, not producer I forget, I have to look up what his role was, um and his name, again because I forget. And he unplugged everything and got up a speaker for Kurt and up to the guitar, and you can hear it. Well, technically now you can hear sirens, but... (laughs) And it's so such a beautiful, haunting song. So beautiful. Come on, piggies, do freedom! Well, I mean, eventually you'll die to slaughter, and then you're, off. anyways. But yeah, it's such a, such a beautiful song. And they had a friend that ended up doing the cello, but because the timing is off, it sounds like the cello's off and all that. But really, the cello's like the one thing that's in key and in tune, uh, time, on time. The six pigs is pretty good, um, but yeah, like just just overall, like I hearing how songs are produced, and I love watching it. Like it was whenever Guitar Hero Metallica came out that I remembered enthusiastically because I didn't have a guitar control at the time. I didn't have it at my mom's house, and so I said, "Ah, no, no big deal." Or I didn't have a for 360. I didn't have that. I'm like, "Oh, I can just play the controller because you could play the triggers and the bumpers, or like PlayStation." The L1, L2, R1, R2. You could use those and like the X button for like the five buttons. And that was a fun way to at least play two songs and listen to them. That was my way of listening to music without listening to my CDs. And Guitar Hero Metallica was the first one where you had to have the guitar. And I'm like, really? That's not really accessible, is it? If you can't use a control instead of a guitar, but whatever. But they had, you could watch the behind the scenes. <clears throat> I rented that game three times, each time not realizing, forgetting really the second, third time that you had to have a guitar. I just saw Guitar Hero Metallica, and I'm like, ah, oh, cool, and you know. But uh, yeah, I love, love the behind the scenes stuff. And so, like, whether it's a video game or music, stuff I'm really passionate about, you know, it's just like, ah, oh, it's so nice. Something's in the way, and you. And that's a beautiful song that was used in uh, the Batman. I loved the, what what they did for for the beginning intro using that. So great. I'm excited for whatever sequel comes out of that. See how that how that comes about. I really hope though, uh, Mr. Freeze is in like the second or third movie because he's so underrated. He needs to be in more stuff. No bees. I guess we could probably put the pig pin here. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Perfecto. Here's your treat, piggies. And then random one gets one, too, I guess. Chicken. 
Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Um, we're not gonna put a gate here. We'll do one here. We'll have like a row. We'll have like chickens, uh, sheep and pigs. But this is also over here, so I don't want to too overwhelm this because you can hear the cows there. Do I have any blocks here that I can bring up? Nah, this is fine as is, really. Yeah. It's uh, <clears throat> a hall of coolness. Eventually we'll work more on that. Trailway down, yeah. I had marked that out so I could remember where what it, what everything was and whatnot. But yeah, I can't believe we died last week. That was my first death. That was that was pretty cool. So we have a grave grave marker there. But all right, so let's see. We need to get a boat. We'll get two boats. And let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Wait a minute. Oh, pig pen. We got to mark the pig pen. Thank you, uh, brain. Pig pen. All right, cool. I did that right, right? Yeah. Actually, while we're here, let me... got it we're journeying north for a bit here oh. yep we're gonna head north on, on the exploration now see how bad the game lags going on a trip in our favorite wooden boat flying through the ocean num 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 Oh, yeah. So next week, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to Walt Disney World. So excited! I haven't gone in about near twenty years. So much has changed. I'm so excited for it. Huh. Hold on. Is that something down there? That might be something down there to explore. Hold on. We'll get closer. I'll be careful. I don't uh, sink the boat, nor the drown shows up. Nope, not worth it, not worth it, not worth it. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. I thought there was going to be a chest down there. I was wrong. I was wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm mature enough to admit I was wrong. Oh, my game's lagging. Just on a boat on the ocean. My game does not like this at all. There's something down there, I thought. Oh, uh, see, so yep, there's there's buildings down there. Okay, cool. I don't think my game likes me uh, loading in things like that. Um, uh, 
We got uh, Luck of the Sea 1 fishing rod. That is awesome. Oh, the ravine down there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that was a, uh, an ouchie. Also got some wheat, rotten flesh, and a stone axe. <clears throat> do, 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 do. We're also going on a cruise end of April next year. This reminded me of that. I'm so excited. My first cruise, we're going to, uh, <clears throat> pretty much everyone recommended it. And I'm like, oh yeah, we're definitely going to be, we were already planned on bringing it. There are these patches you put behind your ears for seasickness. So I'm like, I'm going to bring it just in case because not my luck. I'd be seasick the entire time and then trip ruined. Also, there's pretty much nothing this way. Then, oh, Ocean Monument. Okay, that's really cool. I am. We we don't have the gear. We don't have uh, doors, and we do not have buckets of milk. We'll we'll, t we'll add that to the list of things to do next time. <laughs> I need to get a sign and uh, put the that the coordinates on on there. Land ho! Really, I just want to find a. Uh... Oh, it's a dirt block. Okay, I want to find a cactus. That'd be so cool. I love cactus. They're one of my favorite uh, plant blocks. A zombie villager, wow. That's pretty cool. Ooh, spruce. Oh wow, okay, 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 okay. Oh wow, it's the hills because it's the mossy cobblestone. That's cool and chickens. Okay. Is that a rabbit? Oh, it's a rabbit! So cool. Um, on legit Minecraft, whenever Garrett made the maze, that was a world that there was a place like this that Garrett found that he was going to reproduce the Resident Evil 1 mansion, which at the time I didn't know how just uh, big of a project that would have been, um, but would have been cool. But yeah, he was going to recreate it in Minecraft. I'm like, wow. And uh, in, in creative, of course. Yeah, that would have been intensive. Hey, hey, got you, spider. No, I can't. I'm trying to... Oh, you can't crouch under the leaves because they're the one block. Right, duh. Silly me. Um, but yeah, that, just anytime I see spruce like this in the caves, uh, the the cobble, the co mossy cobble, I think of think of him in that. <laughs> Good times. Me and Zach yesterday were actually playing Minecraft because, you know, the internet was down, but we could do a land and uh, a land world. And we uh, we're in a world that was ice for like for forever. I I don't think we ever really found a place that wasn't ice, but we you know close enough I guess. I'm gonna take this. I love me some mossy cobblestone. I think this is my favorite block. If I really think about it, or has been for for ages. Oh, brown mushroom. Oh, no. <sighs> Dive. <sighs> All those sounds are so cool. I don't think we have kelp. All right, we're heading back. Do I have any sa- I don't have any saplings, dang it. Speaking of which, thank you, Sky. I don't know if I have spruce saplings or not. I might. Oh, I might have had some, and I just used them up though, for uh, 
the tree farm and i just haven't gone through and harvested yet so we'll find out bam, 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 bam. Here's, the, here's another question for everyone watching and um, for YouTube. A million dollars, but everything tastes off. So you go to eat a pizza and you're like, mm, I don't know if it was the, bur the crust was a little burnt or, or there's another monument. Wow. Or the burger might have been, uh, they used too much mustard, but it doesn't taste 100% right. Are we going to get a jump scare? Oh, jump scare. I knew it too, and we still got hit. By the way, in case everyone's wondering what that spoon is, it's Mining Fatigue 3 for five minutes or until you drink milk and you're away from there, because if not, it'll check every so often and reapply it. Um, from one of the Elder Guardians. Um, you know, so I, I think I... That'd be a tough one. Me personally, I probably would say no. I could also see myself saying yes, because why not? But that is definitely a question that, there we go. I don't know, you know? Like if you tell me a million dollars, but you can't drive it anywhere, you have to be driven or flown, you can't be the actual pilot of the vehicle you're driving. Like, sure, I won't drive, I, sure, you know, a million dollars, yeah, I could afford that. Uh, but if it was like a million dollars, but you can only use the bathroom in your house, um, that would be tough. Or wherever you're staying, you have to use that bathroom. So if you go somewhere, you have to use, you know, your your hotel or your room's, you know, bathroom. Like, okay. But otherwise, if it's your house, then be like, I, you really can't go anywhere. Uh. Well, all those questions, a million dollars. But I think that was that started originally from Rooster Teeth. Because that's where the, you get a million dollars, but there's a snail chasing you. You both will live forever. Unless the snail touches you, then it kills you. And, of course, gets a million dollars. TikTok and Reddit and a bunch of other people are like, Oh, hey, guys, look. Mushroom Island. Wow. Um, they, like, took the idea. and like, oh, this is my idea. And everyone's like, no, this that's that's not right. But okay. And I'm like, yeah, no, that's that's a Gavin Free million dollars butt idea. I mean, sure, he could have easily taken it from someone. But that's the known trace online was. Oh, my ceiling. If we had silk touch, we could uh, use this. It'd be so cool. Do I have a bucket? I do. We gotta breed them. We gotta repopulate them. We got some milk. And debuff's gone. That's so awesome. That is so awesome. I'm glad to stop by here. We'll have to make a little outpost here, like on an island somewhere. Obviously, mobs don't spawn on here except for uh, mushroom cows. But yeah, that would be so cool to help them repopulate. All right, where are we? We're heading this way. Where are we? There, also, I wish you could F3 and it's not as cluttered. Because like, a lot of stuff I don't need to know debug was. Actually, yeah. Oh, there's a sh that is a ship. We're gonna explore it. Hopefully, I don't die. Where's it? Where? Where's the ship at? Oh, it's right, it's right there. Okay, we, we, I, we, I was like, wow, I didn't realize I went that far so fast. TNT. We'll have to make a TNT cannon sometime. Woo! Made it in. Paper, ooh, a treasure map, yeah. Uh, we have to head east. Wait. Yeah, we have to head east. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. What 
have to go down a little bit more. So cool. Pirates treasure map. We uh, on the single play. Well, the the co-op world Slant and I have. There's actually a ship that's sideways in a um, beach beach mountain that I think is hilarious. What the why? Oh, it's dirt. I thought that was like granite or something. I was like, uh huh. I really think if you lowered the water level, the world would look pretty cool. I actually want to check that out sometime. See what that looks like. Okay, we're like dead on almost. Wait. Is this... Hold on. Is this by my house? Or does that happen to be... Oh. Huh. We need to get some... Hold on. Doors and check. Okay. All right, and we're. I think four to block. Oh, there it is. Wow, we got a lot of cooked fish, some water breathing potions, some emeralds, some gold TNT. What? What can we get rid of? Uh. Get rid of a stick. We got a heart of a seed. This is such a great a water breathing. Two, three minutes. Wow. Sure, cane. We can get rid of iron. We want to keep because that's tough. Water. Nah. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Um. Get rid of the doors. Keep the map. Oh, uh, wheat. I think we're pretty good on. We could get rid of that, and then I guess we get rid of signs. Uh, okay, we got a boat so we can drop that boat there. Let's check over here. I Don't think this is what that's a tree. I Don't know if the, I don't think this is our actual uh, near our base if it is I didn't realize we came this far already. Oh It is okay <gasps> Wandering trader. Oh, what do you got? What do you got? <coughs> we got pumpkins and melons, right? Yeah, so we now we got that packed ice we don't we don't need that yet. I'm sorry. I can, I have to cancel. I know. I'm sorry. You understand? Thank you. Oh, I got so excited. I thought that was the uh, a new one. I've been so cool. We need to go to the Nether sometime. Here we'll do something. Hot stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm hot. <laughs> but yeah, that was a fun little exploration. Uh, we can definitely do more next time. I don't happen to have a sign on me to note, but we found two ocean monuments. That was two different ones if I uh, go check, but yeah, plus we got some screenshots. That's cool. We got a bunch of loot. Plus the fish and nah, that doesn't count. Um, feathers, chicken, boom. That's a, that's a pretty good haul. That is pretty pretty good. Get rid of the lighthouse for the moment. Um, exploration number three, north. That was nine, seven, twenty-two. Was that? Yep. We'll replace that for lighthouse. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty good, pretty good one. Uh, let's uh, let's see. We can probably take everything back now. Go to the space, and we'll see what we can put in here, and the rest we take over to the storage. I think we keep our, actually most of this here. Um, so let's see. We'll put the TNT there. Iron. Lava bucket here. 
didn't mean to hit the bike. I didn't realize I had so much iron. So that's that's good. That's good. Uh, uh, uh. Um, blocks. Let's see, uh, mob drops. So gold goes over here. Duh. Emeralds. Mm -mm, we got emeralds. How many uh, diamonds we have seven and emeralds we have seven. Nice. Um, take the bed out. So we got to watch that. We just upped that to that. That's awesome. Bamboo, we're good. Anything? We get rid of these. And put the chicken there. Put in the cooked. Put in the spuds. The spuds and spuds and duds. We'll just throw all the tools up here. All right, we'll come over here. We'll make some more chests and we'll wrap it up. I want to thank everyone for joining in today. It was a blast. Do we have spruce? We do not, but now we do. All right, we're good there. All right, and we can we'll put like a chest like here and here. Why not? We can even put a uh, double chest there. Perfect. Well, that wraps up a great episode. My name is Sawthing. What did we do today? Uh, pig pen, wood chopping, and northern exposure. Uh, northern explosion, exploration. Found two ocean monuments, and we found a bunch of spruce. We got some spruce and a bunch of other sweet, sweet gear. I am super excited to see what we do next. I do know that it's going to be phenomenal. Um, again, next week, the third. Uh, we will not be streaming the third through the seventh. I will return on Minecraft on Twitch on the tenth. Um, of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're seeing this on the tenth. Uh, from there, then um, each episode will be a week delay instead of the two week delay we've had the past few episodes uh, just to kind of buffer um so yeah the 10th will air on youtube saw thing of course on the 17th um but yeah life live streams will uh after the 30th uh live streams will come back after a week break i'm super super excited to see everyone um <clears throat> coming up on the 28th and 30th we'll be playing more gta 4 of our playing every gta game which and which we'll be playing through the lost and the damned and the Ballad of gay tony uh, before checking out vice cities and san andreas so i hope you all check that out we'll be continuing playing through every gta wednesday through friday until like a new game like god of war ragnarok Kaliso protocol and other stuff comes out um Mondays will remain Minecraft no matter what, um, but occasionally we'll mix it up from GTA so you know no one gets tired of that. But either way, my name is Sawthing. Thank you all so much for stopping by, and I hope you all have a great day. And like this video and comment if you enjoyed it. Until next time, I'm Sawthing. Take care.